Hey, what's up guys? It's the Manufacturer Millennial, and this is the Datalogic Smart VS. It was released this month here in the United States, and I'm holding one of the first units available. Today, I'm gonna tell you all about it, but before we get into that, we need to clarify something. What is the difference between a smart camera and a vision sensor? Well, it's a couple things. One is the smart camera has a lot of adjustability. I can go in and set a variety of parameters and get fine measurements that allow me to do things like dimensional measurement, optical character recognition, and output coordinates of parts for robot picking. The vision sensor is a lot more basic. I'm able to do basic pattern matching and really we're gonna define what makes this sensor so unique in this video. So let's check it out. Now the Smart VS has the same housing as the Matrix 220 that they use in 1D and 2D traceability applications from Datalogic. But what I really like about this is it also has the rotating port on the back that has my 24 volt power input with IO and also has my ethernet connection for programming. So there are two ways we can program the Smart VS sensor. The first is gonna be through the yellow touch button on the top and using the LED interface. The second one is gonna be through the ethernet port and the bottom which I can program it via a web interface. With touch programming, set up the sensor near your inspection area and use the yellow button to teach it good and bad images. You will get visual indication in the front via the LEDs to let you know what programming mode you are in. And after you taught it good and bad parts, it will self learn the difference using AI. This is where the VS is unique, creating the pass and fail decision for me, allowing for quick setup time. Now with the software, it's very simple as well. Connect the device to a computer and open your web browser. Enter the IP address and create a new job you are ready to start programming. You can select different distance and exposure settings, but you teach it the same way, presenting good and bad parts for it to learn from. Select finish and it learns the difference. Then you are ready to start inspecting. Now I was able to detect the presence of a spring on a post or the proper owing presence on a round part with about 40 seconds of setup time. The web interface shows me the images that were taken and I can save these images offline for future viewing. So currently on the Smart VS sensor, it's limited to discrete communication for a pass function, a fail, and also a error or invalid signal. But with the ethernet connection on the back, I'm told it's not too far behind where we might be adding additional protocols. For me, I would really like to see ethernet IP, Modbus, and Profinet become a standard on this device for communicating back to a PLC rather than discrete signals. So that's the review for the Smart VS. Overall, I really like the features on this sensor, being able to input good and bad and letting the software be able to decide the difference and set that algorithm is really unique, especially for setup time, being able to set up a whole part in 40 seconds of good, bad, and select passing and failing. There's really not a lot of other smart pattern match vision sensors on the market that can do this. And with the promise of hopefully future protocols in the future connecting this to a PLC and more selectable things like an ROI or higher gain or a larger working distance in the future with a, a different lens, there's a lot of promise for this sensor. Until then, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. If you can, if you enjoyed this video, like and comment or share it with your fellow colleague, it really helps me out. But until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.